Good evening, everybody. I have been trying to make this video for a few days now, and it's been a big challenge for me. Um, a lot of things to consider, a lot of emotions are involved. Um, there has been a long, large debate about bringing in refugees into the United States. There's been a lot of turmoil about having people that believe in the Muslim faith in the United States. And you got presidential candidates that are saying some very ignorant, hateful things. You have people that are all over the United States that are also saying some of these same basic hateful things. And it bothers the living crap out of me. Um, I know a lot about Islam. Um, I'm not a follower of Islam. I was a member of a religious debate group for many years in which I learned a lot about the bad side of Islam. Now, when I say that I learned bad things about it, um, I seen videos of Muslims stoning um, young innocent women, how they would wrap them up in a sheet and stone them to death because they weren't supposedly virgins anymore. Um, I, you see, I have a problem with that, but I have the same problem with Christianity. In today's mass media, there seems to be a double standard. If a Muslim jaywalks across the street, somehow it's connected to the terrorists and the Quran. A Christian can blow up Planned Parenthood in the name of God, and he's just a little nuts. That is a double standard that I hate. Um, you see, our media is very Christian-oriented, and it has a long history of when Christians do bad, it doesn't matter. But if somebody of a different religion does something, it does not matter how minor it is, it's brought up. I am surprised Barry Sanders gets as much coverage as he does, sarcastic, right there, because he's a Jew. I think that's one of the reasons why they try to keep him all hushed up on mass media is because he's Jewish. He's not a Christian. Sorry. There was the murders in Florida a few months ago in which a sheriff made the comment that there could be some pagan involvement um, of some sort and they weren't sure and the media all of a sudden blew this up as witchcraft yes um, there was a few years ago a murder investigation in Ohio in which the suspect's wife was Wiccan and the media had to raise a fuss about that. And we had the shootings in San Bernardino and you have the media just talking about when these people were radicalized and talking about the dangers of Islam. Um, but during the same time we had this white guy attack at a Planned Parenthood an abortion clinic and he admitted that he was basically a warrior for God you know, he was saving the children's lives, and media really didn't say anything about it. So, I have a problem with the media. 
this also scares me about um, the refugee situation um, is there's a lot of young men that are coming over in these refugee um, groups not seeing a lot of women not seeing a lot of children a lot of men and that does bother me because you know they are saying that how easy it would be for um, a couple terrorists to slip in there with the rest of these guys and you know infiltrate to various countries and then can do um, some terrorist group attacks and that might be true but then on the other side a lot of these um, terrorist attacks that were seen in like France they were done by people that have lived in France their whole life. They were like second generation uh, nationals. And so it's not that it doesn't seem to be the actual people from these various nations that are causing the problems, but they contribute. They're not doing the attacks, but they seem to rile, rattle up some nerves and so, you know, it's that that scares the heck out of me, too. Um, so there's a part of me that says if we bring in the, uh, the Syrians and such, let's make sure that vetting process, you know, to just, uh, that sorts out um, could be threats. Make sure that's really accurate. Um, because we, it scares me. It really does. But fear is a bad thing as well as a good thing. You can, fear is supposed to warn you that something's not right and you know, you're going to pay attention to the situation. But fear can be overwhelm you and make you want to do something stupid so you never have to deal with it and, but the situation is there um, not all Muslims are bad just like the Christian population a majority of the Muslims are good they are peaceful people and I'm thinking of the 2% rule, which is no matter what size a group of people is, roughly there's 2% that take a viewpoint that is radical, that is um, zealot, and that's the problem. So if we bring in a large amount of Syrians, there is a very good chance when you apply the 2% rule that we'll get a few zealots. We also then got to take that same 2% rule to Christianity. And we've seen this. McVeigh, the Oklahoma City bombing, he was Christian. He killed a lot of people and nobody questioned his religious alliance. A lot, it has been stated that all of the major terrorist attacks on the United States are by Christians, by homegrown Christian terrorists, people that were zealots of the Christian religion. So we cannot condemn the Muslim religion if we're not going to condemn the Christian religion. You know, and, you know, this scares me with Donald Trump with what he's talked about. There was some rhetoric discussed about wearing badges, signs that says that you are of the Muslim religion. I'm well educated in history. And many people who aren't even know that that's just what Adolf Hitler did. And 
I'm thinking of the Red Scare. Um, back in the 1950s, the United States was very afraid of the communist takeover. And so we had the Red Scare going on. And I mean, if you were even thought to be a communist sympathizer, you were reported, you were investigated, you were, you were terrorized by the American government. I mean, that's why we got In God We Trust on our money. That's why the Pledge of Allegiance has um, under God in it. It's the Red Scare because so many people were afraid of the communists and their supposed atheist connections. I'm afraid that is going to happen again. We're going to have this Muslim... Um, fear take hold of this country and then they're going to have everybody that is not cr Christian wear badges, wear signs. Hi, I'm pagan. Hi, I'm Muslim. That person over there is Hindu. And you can pick them out. And if you do that, it's going to be a lot of discrimination, a lot of hatred. And the worst thing about that, that will radicalize more people. You're afraid of having a bunch of Muslims, you know, attacking internal targets? Well, don't treat them like shit. If you treat them like shit, man, they're going to do more. And it just doesn't seem like the people are realizing it. They're so caught up in their fear and their hatred. I live in small town Iowa, and it's bad here. We had a lady that worked at the company I work at from Morocco, and this they have Muslims there, yes. And she had lived in the United States for five years. She was a very nice person, hard worker. She understood, I believe, it was five different languages, so she was smart. And there were just so many people that were saying, well, she's Muslim. And she was Muslim. She, um, I know a lot about Islam, and I'm trying to, you know, be open-minded. I do try my best. And so, you know, I was asking her, you know, if she followed the Muslim guidelines. Falah, if I remember right how it's uh, pronounced. You know, which basically means she does not eat anything that has pork or pork products in it. And, she, you know, she goes down. Yeah, she did. And, you know, that's fine. And she brought over some wonderful recipes. I've tried some of um, this chicken and other things. She was very kind. But we had people at work that were saying, she's Muslim. She's got a terrorist. Her husband must be a terrorist. She didn't do anything to harm a single person. And, you know, when you treat people like her so bad, you know, it, you wonder why uh, Muslims want to cause problems. And it's not really causing problems. They're just getting fed up with the way they're being treated. So this is more of a rant. I'm trying to figure out my stance on the um, whole situation with religions in our current world. Uh, the United States seems to be in this extreme mode where they believe one way or the other but into extreme amounts. There is no common ground with people. You either agree with them 100% or you don't agree with them at all, it seems. Um, There are, as I said, a lot of good Muslims, and I see a lot of pagan groups, you know, trying to welcome in these refugees, trying to show them uh, an open heart, which is a wonderful thing. It really is. But then there's this other part of me that goes, is that the smartest thing to do? Um, Shouldn't we kind of watch them just a little bit at first, see how they treat us? 
uh, before we open ourselves and you know <sighs> because we could be you know like here we're of this religion and you can now attack us and I don't want that um, but yet yeah, yes we should be courteous and kind and try to show them that we are not hateful I guess a part of the fear that I have is if they're already radicalized when they come in to whatever country um, us giving them some food and blankets isn't going to help much um, and we could be open ourselves up to attacks later on down the road um, so there are parts of this that make me against the bringing in refugees now I don't know how valid of a story this is I read this the other day and I'm still trying to research it so I could be wrong on this but apparently there was a group of female Muslims that were complaining about the food stamp program that they're getting for free about it how it's not um, does not meet Muslim standards and this is one of the problems I have with bringing in immigrants is if they can demand their standards being in followed they are no longer in their Muslim nation. Uh, the United States is secular. So, you know, it's kind of like you make adjustments to it. Um, we have to live with a lot of things that are Christian oriented. And, you know, some things that are very secular. So they don't support any religion. And so I think think that it is wrong for any culture to come over and say but we want it back the way it was like in a homeland that's wrong so what is your stance on the refugees um, to me there's many pros and cons and like I said you know just please make sure that this vetting process is very thorough so the ones that do come in don't pose a serious threat to us because if there's anything that goes wrong with this I'm afraid that it's really going to hurt us um, non-Christians very badly so anyway thank you have a good night be at peace